Hello. Good morning. Hello, are you there? It's Lindsay and Peter and Edward and Skippy, Skippy. from Edward Bear. We're all together. It well, isn't. Hello. Anyway. I bet you've broken up for half term, haven't you? I bet you have. I bet you've stopped going to school now until another week. Uh -huh. What are you going to do? Going to oh. have a lovely time? Kicking leaves. Oh, yes. Yeah, jumping in puddles. <sighs> Shall we sing our song that we usually Getting sing? Mm. Shall we? Why not, yes. We're pleased to see you at Edward Bear, Edward Bear, Edward Bear. Pleased to see you at Edward Bear, at Edward Bear on a Thursday. First of all we come to church, come to church, come to church. First of all we come to church at Edward Bear on a Thursday. We light the candles and ring the bell. We can do that, can't yeah, we? Let's do we that, can shall light we? the candles and ring yeah, the bell. Come on, let's move back a bit. Right, let's get some candles so now. This is very important. Yeah, if we don't get too close Here's to that. Here's the first Edward. one. Now then. Yeah. When we light, who's this candle for? Oh, you know, Edward, don't you? Who's it and for, Edward? Skippy. Skippy? Yeah. Uh, well, of course, it's, it's, it's for Jesus. Jesus. It? it is. Can you see the light? <laughs> there. What does Janet say? Well, Janet says that yeah. when we light the candle, yeah. we bring Jesus into our hearts. Yep. Yeah into our heads into our and head. he's all around us he's Which everywhere we are isn't that yes. lovely Indeed. so we're very happy that that's happening and he's there with you you know you can't see him but he is there with you right now and that's very lovely and he's here with us mm. he's here in the autumn he's going to be with us all at half term i think he's ringing our doorbell mm, he well. is at the moment we're going to ignore <laughs> it right that's the first thing we do isn't it we pop him across there mind okay. your nose oh, edward, mind out, edward. Oh. now that we had a ring it's all getting a bit we've warm got another now. one now should we light this one now who's this one for this one is very special indeed oh, it here it comes it's a little one can you it's see the light the in there children, isn't it? it's, it's for it's everybody the actually and daddies. it's for everybody it's actually and everybody but it's about birthdays a lot of it isn't yeah, it we, because it. have you had a birthday has anybody out there had a birthday yeah. have you had a birthday cake have he has a nice little presence? What about those Ooh. who've got poorlies? And there's lots of people who are not so well not today, so, well. so that's yeah. for them too. Hello. If you've got a poorly Let's knee, pray or for a, them. and pray for them, shall yeah. we? And for everybody that we can't mm. see at the moment, I think that's really important. People that we're really missing. I know we're jolly well missing seeing our grandchildren, some of them. Oh, yes. And I'm sure that some of our All some little children are looking are really <laughs> sad they're not seeing their nannies and granddads <laughs> or some of the people they really love. So we're thinking about that too. So there yeah, we are, one absolutely. candle, two candles. Oh, yeah. so we're and, gonna put, and are we going to ring the bell? Well, because we missed the bell, the bell. Week, Now yeah. we light the candle and ring the bell. Let me just move these candles to a safe place. Now then, who are we going to ring this bell for? nose is getting a Ready? bit warm. Goodness me, that was loud. That was oh, for everybody in Ashbourne. waking everybody up. <laughs> and we live at the top of the hill, and we're waking we them up jolly well, um, <laughs> that it's Edward Bear. Are you woken up now? You're in your pyjamas, I bet you are. I hope right, you are. there we are. That was a comfy. <laughs> now then, it's half term everywhere, isn't it? And yes. have you noticed all the leaves and all the trees are all looking oh, red and crispy and crunchy? Getting better and better. When the sun shines on them, my goodness. Let me just show you something before Peter starts his story because then it really means a lot then because you'll understand what he's saying. Just a minute. Oh, what's this? This is a surprise. Now then. Oh, maybe not. Somebody, some uh, one little person I know and love would not like this, but <laughs> do you know what this is? Oh, yeah. It's a sunflower. Isn't it big? <laughs> and the sunflower's died, but inside are all yeah. its seeds. So not only is it given all the birds and, and, the, the, bees. and, the, and the bees lots of nectar to yeah. make their honey, yeah. but now we've got that. beautiful seeds yeah. for the birds to eat. Well, we have indeed. Now that that's the first thing. Now then. So look that's at been this. growing look. all year. Look at this. Peter <laughs> made this. This is a loaf of bread. It's got everything. And I eat it. it. Mm, there Lots we are. of seeds. Lots of seeds. That's lovely, isn't it? Yep. <coughs> Do you know what these are? Oh. They're long, aren't they? Runner beans, they are. <laughs> but they're not running. We eat, no, they're not. We eat them for our lunch. We've got those. And you know what this is, don't you? An orange. Oh, yes. Yeah. And last but not least, we've got well, this funny old thing. Look, that grew in my greenhouse. That's called a gourd. Wow. And now we've got some biscuits. Look, we love biscuits, can we don't eat we? Gourds? we can I think so. They're gourd biscuits. Soup. Now, that's about that. all about harvest, isn't it? It's all about. All the lovely things that we've grown and made, <laughs> that's made, God's helped us make them, hasn't he? He's put all the right things, the sunshine and the rain, yeah, and yeah. the warmth, 
and the kindness and the care that their farmers and gardeners give to grow things. And it's time for us to say thank you. Because without all of that, well, we couldn't fill our tummies, could we? I think that's oh, very true. That's over to you, Peter, now. All right, then. This story is called A Time to Harvest Our Riches. For Edward Bear at the Praise and Play events, Edward more and more became aware that the church seemed an ever-growing mystery. The church was such a busy place with so many people, thought Edward. At the centre was Jesus. And he knew there wasn't that he wasn't there as a person, but he, he was so much there in the presence of everybody. Edward could see this in the people. You know, the volunteers who gave up their time willingly, who appeared to love being there, always giving people their time. The COVID-19 virus is still here. The church is finding new ways of being in touch with people. Every week, Paul, Every week, people come from the town and the villages to have a beautifully cooked takeaway or meal provided by Ozzy's Kitchen. There is also a marketplace there for people to buy food to take home to cook for themselves. A lifeline, Edward thought, in hard times when many families must be struggling. He knew people could not meet up easily. They had to isolate and not see each other just like they had one in the past. Edward had Daisy, he had Skippy and all the toys in the cupboard. He was not alone. So it's a time when people are very lonely, possibly. And it reminded Edward of last year around this time of autumn when the church centre seemed to have more food in it than he had ever seen. This is the story he wants to tell today. Mums often arrive at Edward Bear as if they were racing drivers. You know, they rush into the centre as if they're arriving at the pits where tyres get changed and where refuelling takes place. The prams are parked up, umbrellas stacked and waterproof jackets and coats unzipped. Where's the coffee? they say. And yes, please, I should love a bacon sandwich. The children reach out for their favourite toys and they're off. On this special autumn day, the mums and carers also brought lots of food stuffed under their prams and under their arms. At first, Edward didn't quite understand what this was for, because all sorts of things were being given to Lynn at the desk, who placed them on a table so they could all be gathered together. Lynn seemed to have elastic arms, because she could carry everything given to her. There were jars of jam, you know, homemade strawberry jam and honey, and also unusual concoctions such as beetroot and apricot jam, but also huge bundles of rhubarb, fresh apples and pears, bags of potatoes, the biggest cabbages and leeks ever, and enormous marrows, and of course, the odd bottle of homemade wine that might fuel a tractor. Once things had settled down, Lindsay welcomed everyone and said that today we had lots to celebrate in the church centre where we would hold our service. We rang the bell and sang our welcome song. We prayed together for those people not here today and for those who we knew were poorly. Then came the story of Harvest Festival. Lindsay explained that Harvest Festival was the time to thank God for all the gifts that nature provides for us. The colorful display of different food on the table had been grown in our fields, in our gardens and allotments some of the food cooked at home in our kitchen. We even had some beautiful flower decorations that the flower arrangers had brought over for our service. Lindsay explained that not everybody is as fortunate as we are and how nice it would be if we could share all of what we have here today with those in the Ashbourne and the villages who do not have as much as we do. I hope you can share all these gifts out, she said. And remember, these are not the only riches in this room. We have our volunteers who have prepared everything, including the bacon sandwiches. Lindsay then looked about her and said, but we have you. You are the full of riches that we share together. 
you are full of the riches that we share together. I think Jesus would have celebrated the fruits of the season at harvest time. And he would most certainly be celebrating the richness that you bring to this praise and play event. Well, that was wonderful to hear. Edward realised at that moment that the church was made up of all those people in the room in the church centre, as well as the harvest festival gifts. The food was then divided into shoe boxes, and as everybody left to go home, they took a box with them to give to somebody they knew who would need it. Edward did notice that the beetroot and apricot jam had been left on Lynn's table. There it sat all alone. Had nobody wanted it? And then Edward realised that they've left it the best gift for Duncan, our vicar. <laughs> well, that's the story today. Oh, Peter, Back wow, to there we are. Hey? That's brilliant, isn't it? So that was the story of Edward Bear and, and our Harvest Festival, which we would normally have shared in the church, wouldn't we? Mm. Anyway, today, that we've done it now, um, but we're a bit late, I think, but we'll, we've done it today. We've That's really it. good. Yes. Now then, I think before we sing our last song or our hymn, shall we say our prayer, which we forgot to do? Could I just say something else before we do oh, that? Oh, yes, I'm sure. We've been writing a little book um, called The Adventures of Edward Bear, and it's now available, and we're hoping very soon um, we'll be able to launch it in the church. And it's just to celebrate... Um, Edward Bear and 20 years of Edward Bear, which has been That's really right. quite a remarkable thing to do, hasn't it? That we've been there every week for 20 years and we just wanted to find a way of celebrating Edward mm. Bear, which we can't do as a big in a big party, which we'd normally have wanted to do. Uh, but instead, we're going to have this little book available for people to buy at five pounds each. You can buy it in the church office <laughs> and there will be a display in the church um, within right. the next couple of weeks um, and be. you'll be able to pop in there and get one if you want to. Oh, we'd love you That's to. That's really lovely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so shall we put our hands together and be quiet now oh, just yes. for a moment. Hands together <laughs> and eyes closed. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Amen. 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 Oh, <laughs> okay, shall we sing All Things Bright and Beautiful? Oh, I've got words here, shall we've got it. Shall we sing it together? Just the first verse and the, and the chorus? Are we going to sing the old song or the new one? Well, let's sing the old one, shall we? All, all things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, He made their glowing colours, He made their tiny wings. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Well now, if you look around you now, look out your window, have a look and see at all the pretty colours and say thank you for that. That's yeah. made me really happy. Have a lovely week and we'll yeah. see you soon. Bye, bye then. Bye.